my channel. I got my girl Minua here, one of my best friends from undergrad. And we are gonna do our top facts from undergrad. Top five. All right, so each of us are gonna give our top five facts from our department in undergrad. So my department was theater. In your department? Mass communication. Okay, so y'all ready? So I'll go and we'll just go one by one, back to back. Go. Cool. All right, my first fact. I was not in a Frostburg production my entire sophomore year. Okay. Yeah, the whole year. I did something off campus, but I did not do a Frostburg University show my entire sophomore year. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I was mad about that, that too. Was, that was interesting. Yeah. It was, was that by choice? Time. No, girl, they just didn't call me back. <laughs> <laughs> they just did not they I didn't get in anything but it was good reasonings behind a lot of it but nope I wasn't in the show at all it worked out the way it was supposed to exactly. you popping you exactly. yeah. <laughs> okay my first fact is I had to network with Connie who works at the front desk she is the one who has access to everyone on the west coast mm-hmm yep I remember that. Oh, yeah. boy, it's just like a little walk down the relay. <laughs> relay. Okay. We drive it. <laughs> right, we drive down the relay. <laughs> the next thought on the relay. <laughs> um, okay, so my only lead role that I had at Frostburg was I had to kiss my best friend, Alex. And it was really awkward. Like, And that was also like the department for some reason wanted me and Alex to be a couple so bad. And that was never going to be a thing. But so our professor that was the director would be like, yeah, I mean, this is good practice for you because you guys are basically like dating. And we'd be like, where's everyone getting this information from? Like, we're not dating. And Dion worked that show. He worked backstage of that show. Oh, my gosh. And we but had Dion to like, probably felt confident, right? He yeah, yeah, yeah. He felt confident, but it was still weird for like <laughs> my, my guy I'm talking to to watch me. Face to face. I remember that. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Mm -hmm. I remember that. It was fun. It was interesting. But yeah, it was fun. <laughs> that was good. Okay, my second fact is if you want to create any type of projects on your own, you have to use the equipment without anybody finding out. Really? Yep. I didn't know that. Because you can't use film you can't use like university's equipment to make your own content it has to be related oh, to class assignments cool. so you finesse so that the same weekend while you're borrowing the equipment you shoot the oh, class yeah. assignment and you shoot your assignment we all do yep. it it ain't no secret mm -hmm. they try to create different policies each year but it didn't work yes i remember <laughs> that because she'd be like all right girl i got an idea we're gonna film something this weekend we got hurt yeah and i'd be like why we got a rush I and I know. never told her. No, I did not know. I was just like, why do you gotta rush to? Don't you have the equipment? She's like, girl, just hurry up and film. Just be quiet. <laughs> right. That is <laughs> wow, that's really good. Even I didn't know. That's really good. That's funny. Okay, so my third fact was that I learned that I had trouble harmonizing. I learned that I had trouble harmonizing when I was in Junie B. Jones, the musical. I was mm. like, I know I could sing because my family, we can, my dad's side, we can sing on that side, but I didn't know anything about harmonizing until I got in <laughs> Junie B. Jones. Like, wait. <laughs> and she'd be like, you gotta sing the middle part. And I'd be like, this is the middle part. And Mary's was like, that's not, what are you talking about? I got yes. chewed out so many times in those rehearsals because I <laughs> did not know nothing about harmonizing. Oh my gosh. That's pretty that's embarrassing. Hilarious. Yeah, this is good. good. It was a lesson, but it's funny now. But back then I was like, what are you talking about? I'm singing for you. And she was like, but you're not singing the middle note. So, mm-hmm. So funny. Um, my fun fact is I was on air personality for the news um, for broadcasting. Yeah. And everybody thought I was, you know, extrovert and excited and confident. I was so nervous. That's the only time I've ever seen you I was nervous. shaking. I was shaking. <laughs> I was like... Oh my god. And and you and when you're about to go on air, you don't want to tell nobody you're nervous because mm -hmm. you want to have this like front like okay. <laughs> I got mm -hmm. it. No, I was nervous. Oh and, but gosh. at the end, nobody knew. I asked people, they were like, girl, I know you were nervous. Mm -mm. I was so I've never known this girl to be nervous. And she was like <laughs> I was shaking. She was like, Yo, I was nervous. And me and like our other friends were like, I could never tell. I never knew you were nervous. All them people watching me read off a teleprompter, like Yeah. <laughs> Like it's because weird. you know they're analyzing you because when mm -hmm. you're on the other side you be looking at the 
eyebrows, yep. their head to fly away, hearing how they mm -hmm. talk. You be judging them. Mm -hmm. So, so I was judging myself, and I was so nervous. But now I've learned, you know, you can't think about what other people, yeah, are, are thinking about you. It's, that's so or true. you won't get it done. But teleprompter, like reading over a prompter, is really hard because yeah. you have to follow through and make sure your eyes don't look like you're reading. It's yeah. so hard. It's so hard. But you mm -hmm. did good. But I was, that's the only time that I can ever remember you being nervous. Out of what <laughs> seven years that yeah. I know you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only time I know me you as yeah. nervous ever. Yeah. <laughs> Read That's the teleprompter. <laughs> That's good. All right. So my fourth fun fact about the department: uh, me and Dion were only in one show together. They only put us in one show together, and it was Christmas Carol. Our last, my last play oh, at Frostburg, we did Christmas Carol <laughs> together. And so <laughs> that was a really good show, y'all. That was a fun show. The director was so chill. He was so laid back. And we had, we only had one scene together in that show. And every time he would go off a stage, he would put, kiss me on my cheek and act like we were saying bye to each other, like saying, like greeting each other. And he would kiss me on my cheek and I would blush so hard. And I remember my family came and was like, was Dion supposed to kiss you on your cheek? And I was like, <laughs> no, but he just did. That's hilarious. Yeah. So that's the only show we ever did, like a Frostbird production together was Christmas Carol. I love that. And it was your last year? Mm -hmm. That was that was that's awesome. Year. See, and mm -hmm. it worked out because that's when you guys were like, we're in a relationship, mm -hmm. we're doing this. That's beautiful. Yeah, we were dating, but yeah, uh -huh. it was fun. It was, that was like that's the best cute. show I probably ever did. One of the best shows I did there. I love cool. that, girl. I love that. Okay, so on to my fourth one. Um, fun fact: my professor, when I had discovered my love for filmmaking. Um, I told her I was going to apply to USC and she laughed in front of the entire class and she said, so does everyone else want to yeah. go there. Mm -hmm. So I could have let her discourage me, but I had the fire in me, thank God. Yep. And I was like, <laughs> Yo. and little did I know I was going to get accepted and here I am mm -hmm. three years later graduated. But, um, that's a fun fact. The department, um, was not as supportive as I expected them to be. Yeah, and I remember you coming home and telling me that, and I, I was being like, hurt. yeah, 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 yeah. Our department was not that supportive of what we wanted to do. So. Not a black woman. Mm mm. They put us in a, a very small box. Box. Mm hmm. So they pretty much were like, whatever you do here, expect to do that, and that's it. And we were like, wait, I don't understand that. Like, I don't know what you mean. So. Yeah, our school was not that supportive, especially of minority women. They were not that supportive of us. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely not. All right, my last fact, my fifth fact. Um, in my internship, I had to write press releases about each theater, dance, music event that went on. And I also did Facebook Lives. And when that's what the whole teleprompter mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all would think it was easy, but um, it was hard. So I was in the media and communication service internship program and it was me and another intern, but they knew I was an actress. So they were like, oh, so you could do the radio voiceovers and you could do the press releases and the Facebook lives for us for all events that go on mm -hmm. campus, right? And I was like, sure, yeah. Nervous, <laughs> so nervous. There, I did, Frostwork had their own radio mm -hmm. department there were so many times that they had to stop and be like, why are you rushing your voiceover? And I'd be like, cause I just want to get it over with. <laughs> Nervous. So it's so different to tap into, that's what I'm saying, like the voiceover mm -hmm. world, the teleprompter to be an interviewer, different than being an actor. So different. So, but that was fun to be able to see, like mm -hmm. to get to report the shows and events on another side of just being a part of the events. So yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. Awesome exposure. It was fun. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed us walking through memory lane. Our little drive. We drove. We sure. drove through memory lane. Sure. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's always fun to connect with my girl Minuet. So thank you so much for coming on of my course. channel and talking about Frostburg. I don't really do this that often, so it's really cool to do that. I hope you guys are finding ways to stop and reminisce about things in your life and find ways to smell the roses in your life at all times. Please make sure that you comment, subscribe, and like this video, and I will see you guys next week. Hey, 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 hey.
one and done. Ooh, one and done. 